All right, guys, shooting shit TV. I'm Adam, your host, back out at the range today. Look at this big boy. That's one big nitrous oxide container. Uh, I found this side of the road, and I'm like, what is this? I looked it up. This is actually happy gas. And I did some research online. I guess people use these to, uh, to charge, I guess, whipped cream. But I am not that naive. I'm sure they use it for other nefarious purposes. But yeah, pretty crazy how and this thing is solid. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna take some ammo and shoot it at this and see if we can get it to penetrate. This, the point of this video is I wanna see if we can pierce that container with a 22 bullet. And I got three types of 22 we're gonna try. The first one is gonna be out of my Ruger SR22. And this is the fastest 22 bullet, uh, 22 LR bullet I own, which is the Aguila Super Max Hyper Velocity. Uh, they range, I think they fly out of a rifle at 1800 feet per second. So out of a handgun, they should fly at a nice clip too. I would say probably 15, 1600 feet per second, maybe even more, maybe 17. Uh, we're gonna step it up and take my CMR 30 out again, and we're gonna try some of this new arm score that I have uh, with a nickel case, full metal jacket. We're gonna shoot what I believe will get through, and it's these FN green tips, the SS109 I believe they are, no. SS 198. I don't know. I'll put the uh, exact SS number um, in the in the, right up here. <laughs> so we're gonna shoot this green tip by FN. Uh, I got some of that. Supposedly that is a very fast bullet, 27 grains, and it flies out of that pistol at going at least 2,300 feet per second. It would help if I don't miss. Let's go check it out and see if it penetrated. I was definitely making contact with it. Yeah, you could see there. I made contact with it quite a bit and it didn't do anything. So let's step it up a notch. So we have the Keltec CMR30 and we have the Griffin Checkmate. Again, you saw it in my previous video. Uh, we're gonna shoot the arm score. We've got 10 rounds of it here. We're gonna see if we can get it on target and see if we can puncture that happy gas cylinder. So here we go. Not bad. I would think that this didn't puncture either, stepping it up to 2,200 feet per second. Probably a bigger dent, for sure. Look at that. I think I was hitting in the same spot. Oh, no, it's hitting kind of low to the left. Okay, so that was close. Let's step it up to the next thing. Let's go to 5.7, green tip. Now, if this doesn't do it, I don't know what will. Here's the FN green tip, and it's gonna be out of my Smith & Wesson M&P 5.7. Here we go, I finally got it. Okay, here, take a look. Okay, got enough on target. She's clear. 
All right, I don't know about this. What do you guys think? It's a pretty strong cylinder. Nope. I think I gotta hit it again. These are the uh, CMR 30 rounds, which seem like they have bigger dents skimmed off the side. So let's see if I can get a better shot dead on. It's hitting off to the side. It's just my shitty shooting. So let's try another magazine. We're gonna try it again, see if I can get a more centered shot. So let's see if I can get a better, you know, head on shot. did hit it a couple more times and I still think I'm hitting it over here now, that's a damage so far so surprisingly enough the green tips which I'm almost positive it's these guys here didn't do much this, these crazy green tips that everybody talks about being armor piercing and whatnot no they're not they're hollow point 27 grain there they are fast and again Speed defeats armor. So, I don't know. Not these. These I think are too light and too hollow and there's not much oomph behind them when they hit a hard target. And this is really thick. What do you think? Should I take another shot with the uh, CMR? Yeah, what the hell. Uh, just blows my mind how lightly recoiling the 5.7 round is. It's surprisingly light but it does have a nice pop to it. And for as fast as it's going, yeah, for a 22, it definitely, in my opinion, would be a great uh, self-defense option. But the problem is, is a lot of the guns are really large. Like the 5.7 is, it seems to me, it, honestly, it's bigger than the, um, the Glock 17, you know, lengthwise. But I think if they went to a more subcompact or compact version, it might be uh, an even better competitor um, for self-defense, everyday carry, EDC. So let's try the, uh, let's go back with the CMR30 and we'll see if we can get it to penetrate. We were quite close. We were definitely close. <laughs> Surprisingly enough, the CMR30 had the most, um, the most uh, dent, you know, in, into the cylinder. Alrighty, let's go for that container again. Damn, I made contact with that about 26 times. Look at those marks. Those are some nice dents, but it still didn't go through. This is a really strong tank. So I'm just surprised. I really thought those crazy green tips were gonna be the ones to make it right through, but I guess not. So and they must defeat soft body armor only. You guys can give me some input on that. But the 22 Winchester Magnum out of a rifle definitely kicked its butt and uh, made some nice dents. So we're gonna have to take a green tip out, a 5.56 green tip out. Um, I got a new can, we're gonna test that out and we're gonna see how it goes. Uh, 300 blackout and 5.56. So that should be fun. I just got done setting up a couple of my ARs to make uh, to integrate that suppressor. Thank you for watching Shoot and Shit TV. I'm Adam, your host. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And happy shooting. Thanks for watching. Shoot Shit TV, signing off. <laughs>